days, I will delete and block every negative comment and offensive comment. That's just the way it's going to be because I do not want negativity on my page. I can't forgive you for what you've done. Oh, oh, the beauty come out to tea. Oh, oh, the beauty come out to tea is so much drama, girl. Why? Why? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh, girl, we got so much drama. So, girl, Amanda Insing is at it again. You won't believe what she did, girl. Start the video, honey. Girl, so much drama. Oh, my God. Check out this beat, girl. Check out this little flawless beat, girl. Ready to steal your man. I'm going to take your man. No, but seriously, I don't know. I was feeling like, you know, let's do a little go down to the Target Asda, get a little milk, girl, a little lash, not bothered. Clock at the house, girl. You won't believe the drama that's been going on. So Amanda Sync, I thought this was going to be like a one video type thing, but I've been getting so many messages about you guys wanting to know what happened. So just to give you a quick, you know, get you up to speed, Amanda Sync came out with a beautiful hoodie that had swatches here. This other girl named Casey had already had, had a fashion company that already had a hoodie with the same swatches. People said Amanda Insync copied Kelsey. The people in the comments were talking about, well, Kelsey can sue Amanda Insync. And I had to get in the way a little bit, girl. Even though I feel like she did copy, just my opinion, just a little bit. I kind of feel like you, I don't think Kelsey would have any grounds to sue. Now I say that because there's a lot of people in the comments who watch my videos who are paralegal lawyers, studying to be lawyers and stuff like that. So they might know a little bit more about it in the comments down below. But from what I was told, this, this hoodie with swatches is not patent pending, is not copywritten. There is no trademark in what she was doing. So in that case, anyone could do it. Anyone, like for example, this crown right here, where on my head, right? I make them by hand. I buy the mold, I spray paint it, put adhesive to it, let it dry. I do it all on my own in different colors. I used to sell them, not anymore. Maybe later on in the future we will. But I've noticed that other people were doing the same thing that I was doing. I'm not yelling copy, copy. Anybody can do this type of crown, anybody. The only difference is I did it so I could sell it because people didn't want to put in the work to make one on their own. I understand that. Maybe it's like this with the hoodie, I don't know. But all I'm trying to say is I don't feel like there was any type of copy written, no type of patent pen type design on this hoodie, right? This is why so many people sell merchandise with t-shirts and little phrases and stuff like that. Unless you own the actual word, then what would happen is you send a cease and desist, meaning, hey, please take it down or else we're gonna have to take further action. You don't just automatically sue somebody, girl. Okay, the internet just tends to throw the word sue, sue, sue all around. A process in order to be sued, if that makes sense. Now, granted, there are different avenues of suing, like tax evasion, unpaid child support, things like that. But in this case, that's not that. So, Amanda Insing said she don't even know who Kelsey is. I had no idea I stole her design. Oh, 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 me? No, girl. So many people from Kelsey's camp were sending Amanda Instinct so much drama on her Instagram, on her video. So much so that in the video where Amanda Instinct announced the hoodie, there was so much hate going on in the comments and dislikes and all that drama, right? They were in Amanda Instinct's Instagram telling her the same thing. Well, Kelsey was so fed up, girl, she took it on over to Twitter. And she said, she refuses to open my messages and deleted my comment informing her of the message. I literally given up this girl every chance to do the right thing. I haven't asked for a dime or any credit just to take the shirt down. I guess I'm calling my lawyers back to take further action. Ooh, hoo, hoo, girl, girl, honey. She says she gonna call her lawyers, girl. And you know what? Amanda Insane's back. Girl, girl, call them, girl. Call them. Call them. This is my address. Call them, girl. So anyways, that's what it seemed like to me. That's not what it was, but to me, that's what it seemed like. Well, Amanda Instinct was just uh, too booked to be bothered. But I think all the little people, the community, you guys, the beauty community has came to... Look, let me tell you something. You got the candle community, the calendar planning community, the gaming community, the painting community are all nice communities. But let me tell you something about this beauty community. They're so vicious, girl. Everybody on YouTube knows. Literally, if YouTube was a thing, YouTube would be like, girl, seriously. Cause the drama and the beauty community, 
It's crazy, girl. Even people in it and outside of it have said, girl, there's so much drama in this beauty community. It's so hard. I know a lot of girls who start YouTube channels, but then quit because they can't handle the drama. Like, seriously, you know what I think it is? And I could be wrong. Let me know if I am. But I feel like uh, it's a lot of women in the beauty community. And I feel like sometimes women can be kind of territorial. So they're like, girl, she ain't that pretty. She don't look that good, girl. Dislike. Like, seriously, women... In the beauty community, seriously, don't hate on each other. Lift each other up, empower each other, and do the thing. Stop hating on each other, okay? I mean, y'all can still do it. You know, I love the drama. I report on it, girl. But check it out. Amanda Insink went, made a YouTube video, and she basically apologized, girl. She was like, I'm sorry, yada, yada, yada. The video has done been taken down, so uh, that's what I heard. So if you look for it, you ain't gonna find it, girl. But however, she apologized for her actions and she said that she's gonna seek legal action too and i was like girl over a hoodie girl you would think this hoodie who would have known that this hoodie would cause so much drama in the booty community girl oh my god a freaking hoodie girl you know what if that ever happened to me and somebody was like yep 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 you stole my design i'm like girl i'm sorry i'll take it down right now done it's not that serious girl unless that hoodie was sudden like crazy and paying all the bills girl enough to buy multiple homes and cars we gonna have we got a little argue about the hoodie girl but this little hoodie girl started so much drama in the beauty community seriously girl a hoodie girl a hoodie girl a hoodie girl. Well, Amanda Insink put on Twitter, she said this. I'm sorry for how everything was handled. I would never intentionally hurt you or steal from someone. I hope Kelsey and you all can forgive me. I can only learn from my mistakes. Good job, girl. Amanda Insink apologized. All is right within the universe and the beauty community. You would think everything is just peachy keen, perfect the house. But girl, no man. Kelsey messaged her back and said this. Four days it took you to acknowledge me. Subscribe to Rich Lux video, smash that like button. I will gladly accept your apology when you refund everyone who purchased the hoodie with my design on it. Until then, I can't forgive you for what you've done. Oh, oh, the beauty come out today. Oh. Oh, the beauty community is so much drama, girl. Why? Why? Girl, the drama. This is like a soap opera. The house, girl. I mean, if you read it the way I read it, theatrical. Theatrically. Is that a word? Yeah. Theatricalness. I can't forgive you for what you've done. Oh, girl, never. Girl. Girl, seriously, if all this, can you imagine if all this was like a stunt and Kelsey and a man instantly are just sitting back by the pool, not bothered, girl, laughing, drinking mimosas, girl, not bothered the house, girl, and they're like, ha ha, we're gonna make bank on this hoodie, girl. Come on, girl. We always talk about you wanna sell something to start some drama back it along with. That's how you get sales the house. So I wouldn't be surprised if all this was just fake made up for views. Reviews the house. Meanwhile, they're best Judy's girl. Who knows? And they're both gonna make money off these hoodies, girl. Okay. Well, anyways, there's more drama. Why even publicly apologize to me if you're just gonna block me right after I asked you to refund the customers who bought your merch with my design and artwork on it, girl? Amanda Insing, block Kelsey the house, girl. Block, not bother, girl. So I want to know, and I haven't checked by the time this video goes up, who knows, did Amanda Insink delete the hoodie off the website? Oh, we got a message, girl. So he said, yes, girl. She said that Amanda Insink, she said that Amanda Insink went on Snapchat, girl. Here's what she said. Of course, there's negativity along with this as always. When is there not negativity or drama in beauty, which is fine. There's always going to be someone trying to bring you down. There's always going to be someone trying to discredit you. That's just the way it is. And that's okay. You know, I'm okay if not everyone likes me. Not everyone's going to think I'm a good person. That's just life. But you can't let it get to you. You can't let it bring you down. Because you got to keep doing your thing. You got to keep doing you. 
your friends and family, like your real friends and your family, as long as they know who you are and the people you love know who you are, that's all that really matters. And if someone is going to see something online and assume without knowing and they think I'm a bad person, I mean, you were never really a fan to begin with, in my opinion. People always want to assume the worst and they'll think of you what they want to think of you. And that's okay. That's life. If I've learned anything being on social media, it's on that note. If you're commenting negative things, if you're commenting offensive things, you will be deleted and blocked. I will delete and block every negative comment and offensive comment. That's just the way it's going to be because I do not want negativity on my page. And I'm not going to tolerate it. It's unacceptable. It doesn't matter how bad of a person you think someone is or if you think they deserve it. No one deserves that. No one. And I'm not tolerated on my page. I've been working on this for so long, and one of my best friends helped me come up with a lot of ideas for this collection, and I'm so thankful for her. And me and all my friends, we all bounce ideas off of each other, and I have a team of designers. Like, I don't draw these designs, clearly. The only thing that I helped do was my signature, but I have a team of designers. I send them my ideas, my thoughts. They come back with samples. They come back with designs, and I approve or deny. Like, I would like to think I'm an artist. Yes, maybe in up, but I am not a apparel design artist. Without the designers, I would not have anything because I can't. Oh, I'm glad that's over, girl. I hope that they can work it out. People continue. Oh, girl, more drama on that ass. Girl, Amanda Insing has lost so many subscribers. She's lost a lot, girl, over all this drama. I didn't think she could lose that many, girl. You know, when it comes to YouTube, girl, to, for, to be able to get on camera and spill the tea or talk about what your favorite things are or talk about life or tell stories and to get views, to me, it is a, a privilege. To me, it is a privilege to come on here, talk to you guys, because I remember back in the day, not that long ago, I was on here making videos and nobody was watching, girl. Nobody was bothered the house. It was just, I was just speaking to like a hundred people in five comments, girl. And always be that one person. There was always that one person who was like, I love you so much. Woo! Woo! You know what I'm saying? And then I'm shocked that my fat ass has come this far. Seriously, and I have yet to say it, but I think I'll address it here in this video. You know, I recently just hit 100,000 subscribers, okay? And I feel very lucky, very, girl, very lucky girl, to be able to have come this far. And it has come, and I know I come on camera and I come off very confident and very not bothered the house. But when I hit 100,000 subscribers, for those who follow me on Snapchat, and I got very teary-eyed, and I am... And I cried off camera. I was so excited. I couldn't believe I've come this far, this little brand. You know, I have had so many people come uh, against me in life or try to destroy me just before YouTube, just coming up and living life, you know? I feel like being a minority and being gay is like already two strikes against me. And I had no other choice but to try to succeed at something, girl. So when I got on YouTube, I was just doing it for fun. Now it comes to the point where I don't miss a day of YouTube. I try not to, just, just so I can recharge my drama batteries. But the days that I don't upload videos, and then I upload it the next day, there's so many people who are like, oh my God, I didn't think you were uploading today. I love watching your videos. You help me with your anxiety, my depression. I thank you for uploading. I love your energy, you make me smile. And I don't really think, and to that, if I've ever made you laugh or smile, hit the thumbs up button, because it, it just means a lot to me that I'm able to give you a laugh and a smile. Some people don't understand the jokes. I understand it's kind of hard. And I understand my jokes may be kind of dark or unconventional, but they're jokes nonetheless, and I think they're absolutely hilarious. But I want to say thank you to all of you, and I will, I, I can never stop saying thank you. Because without you watching, I know you're probably just thinking, girl, me and I, I, I just watched the video because I'm bored. No, but seriously, those who even just watch because they're bored, it's you people that make this happen, girl. You know what I'm saying? And continue to. And I just don't ever want to come off as ungrateful. And that's why I do a lot of like, fool, hold on, I got to disclose. I'm not trying to brag. Because I care about the people in the comments. And I, it's very ha difficult for me to try to... Um, 
not to offend anybody because I'm thinking about the person at home who's watching my videos who's severely depressed and have anxiety. And I'm thinking, I'm also thinking about the girl at home who's spending her daddy's money without a care in the world. Or the single mother at home who has all these kids who just watch my videos to cheer her up because she's just having a bad day. Or the person who just had a really horrible day at work and just wants to come on here and laugh and smile. Those are the people that I tend to do these videos for. And I enjoy doing them and I love doing them. And, and granted, I am given uh, money monetarily through YouTube for making videos. But I think the proof is in the videos that I've made. If you, I've made a lot of videos every day. Girl, that's a lot of makeup I've been putting on and eyelash glue, okay? To be able to come on YouTube every day and post a video, it's because you have to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't enjoy doing videos, you wouldn't post as much as you do. I don't have to say I enjoy doing videos because it's, it's in the work that I do. I'm on here every day talking to you guys. And it may not seem like a lot of work, but you know what? I come on here, I shoot the sh with you, and we have a good time, and we kiki with the girls. Uh, but it's every day, and um, and I and I enjoy it, and I and I do it for those who watch, and I love reading the comments, and I try to comment back and like comments and stuff like that. I just still uploaded videos because I I enjoy doing it. I just appreciate you, and I just want to say that if no one else loves you, I love you, and thank you for watching. And I hope that you don't get offended by the drama that I talk about on here because to me, I like I try to tell you that we're just, I love them so much and we're just here to just poke fun and have a good time. Life is not that serious. It's really not. It's hard. Girl, it's hard. Sometimes, I swear, I'm gonna make you cry. It's hard, but it, I try not to take it that serious. You know what I'm saying? As long as you got the coins to do what you wanna do, you're, you, you're good, baby, okay? I don't know, I, I'm just thankful for you guys. And I don't think I ever tell you that enough, but I truly am. And um, it, it, it comes from, it comes from a good place because I, I come from the laughter and the jokes come from a dark place. And I took that and made it to something positive and happy. And I just want you to understand that. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I don't think I can continue talking. I'm gonna cry, so I'll let you go.